All I can say is, wow, the Las Vegas Raiders' thin playoff hopes are still alive. Their win on the last play of the game Sunday is one that deserves a name. The Raiders already have the ID game, the sea of hands, the holy roller, goes to the post, the mistake by the lake, and old man Willie. I'm calling this one the great throwback because not only did the Patriots throw the ball backwards on the play, but they literally threw the game back to the Raiders after it was given to them. No. I am in no way predicting that the Raiders are going to make the playoffs this year. They need too much help for that. But I will say Sunday's game made me wonder if it's meant to be for this team. But there are a lot of other things I took away from this game. Here are three of them. Takeaway number one is head coach Josh McDaniels still hasn't learned his lesson. Thank God the lesson came in the form of a win this time, but he actually has to learn it this time around. Playing not to lose doesn't work. What is this, the third time the Raiders have taken a two touchdown or more lead and a halftime only to lose the lead? It took one of the most egregious errors on the part of the Patriots and one of the most unbelievable overall plays in NFL history for the Raiders not to lose Sunday. McDaniels actually called a decent game in the first half on the way to that 17-3 lead. Then he got into his conservative act and the closer the Patriots got, the more his sphincter tightened up. Then all of a sudden when the Patriots took the lead, McDaniels got aggressive and wanted to throw the ball down the field. His method of winning comes from Bill Belichick's let the other team screw it up philosophy, but you can't win like that anymore. And if you still can, the Raiders don't have Richard Seymour, Willie McGinnis, Teddy Bruschi, and Ty Law, so they can't afford to take their foot off the gas. The Raiders are more of an offensive team, so they have to stay aggressive. Takeaway number two is the Raiders need to move right tackle Jermaine Luminor to guard. I'm not saying this just because he gave up a sack Sunday. I'm saying this because a backup right tackle with Thera Munford is the best offensive lineman that isn't starting. He's much better at right tackle than Jordan Meredith and Hronis Grasuar at guard. Illuminor, a very valuable Raider offensive lineman, is versatile enough to kick inside. He's very strong and has short arms, which cost him in the sack he gave up to Josh Uche, but it makes him a great guard candidate. I still don't see why McDaniels cut guards Lester Cotton and John Simpson to bring Meredith and Grasu up from the practice squad. Patriots' interior defense alignment had their way with them Sunday, and they remain a known weakness for the rest of the season. The Baltimore Ravens have since added Cotton to their practice squad, and Simpson remains without a team as of the making of this video. The Raiders' new regime isn't going to bring any of those guys back, so kicking Illuminor inside with one of the guards they added to the practice squad last week is the best option I can see right now. Takeaway number three is the Raider defense really is coming around. Over the first nine games of the season, they were giving up 25.1 points per game, which is good for number 28 in the NFL. They are now a point per game better and ranked number 24 thanks to a major improvement over the last three games with the exception of a couple of long touchdown drives they gave up late in games. The 98-yard drive they gave up to the Los Angeles Rams with a minute 45 left to lose the game was more coaching than anything, but either way, the Raider defense has given up only 15.7 points per game over the last three games. If they played to that clip the whole year, they'd be the second-ranked defense in the NFL. If you've been watching my stuff lately, you know I attribute most of the Raider defense's improvement to picking up interior defensive lineman Jerry Tillery on waivers. His pressures and quarterback hits have made opposing quarterbacks have to go through their progressions much faster. He's also chased them in the sacks by edge rushers and taken double teams so they can face one-on-one -on -one blocking. Sunday's hero Chandler Jones has flourished upon his arrival. That would be quite a story for the Raiders to make a stretch run and get into the playoffs for the second year in a row, wouldn't it? But playoffs or not, a stretch run is definitely what I want to see. And in order for that to happen, head coach Josh McDaniels is going to have to change his conservative ways. You can't just get a two-score lead and sit on it. You have to put your foot on your opponent's throat. And with all the injuries the Raiders have at guard right now, they need to kick Illuminor inside and take the training wheels off of Mumford and start him at right tackle. If they do that and continue to play defense the way they have the last three games, they just might have a shot to make that stretch run. Thank you for watching. See you next time.